Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing a review and three tutorials using the Jeffree Star Blue Blood eyeshadow palette. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts on this palette, then just keep watching. So I know originally I wasn't going to pick this palette up and um, I don't know I just kept staring at it. I knew it a blue palette. I didn't need it. I probably wasn't going to use it that much and then I just kept thinking about it and then the time came and it was a mad rush to get it and um, whoopsie I accidentally placed an order on Beautylish but surprisingly I've actually gotten a lot of requests about this palette from you guys. It was way more than I thought I would get from you guys so because of that I kind of used <laughs> you guys as the reason for getting this palette as well. Blue Blood palette, she's in my hands right now. So major details about her. She is $52. She's currently not available right now. Obviously, we're going to have to wait till the restock, but you can get her on Jeffree Star Cosmetics, Beautylish, which is where I bought it, and I believe the Morphe website. There also is a lot of other things in that collection, like a whole bundle of blue liquid lipsticks and some of his velour lip scrubs, which look really nice. Unfortunately, I don't see myself using too many blue liquid lipsticks lipsticks, especially since this was really pushing it for me, so I did only take the time to purchase this palette. So the packaging, I mean, I'm sure you guys have seen it. It's like basically a coffin slash jewelry box, something that really is super cute to leave out in your room for display. And then it has this nice little latch, which honestly is very well made. And then you're going to open up the palette and it reveals a giant mirror for one. And then of course you have 16 eyeshadows. And I mean, man, look at this palette. This is a blue palette and I was just starstruck when I saw this eyeshadow palette. One thing I would like to say about the packaging is there is some type of like, not fabric, but it's a weird kind of texture right here on the outside of the pans and I actually find the powder really sticks to the fabric or whatever this is so it actually can make the palette look quite dirty. Um, nothing a makeup wipe can't fix but it still is kind of annoying and makes the palette look really messy. On the individual eyeshadows they each have a different embossment and as you can see the majority of these shades are some form of blue. You have a few neutral shades in here to kind of mix it up but for the most part this is an all blue palette with a few complementary shades. So for that, I'm like, you go, Jeffree Star. This is a truly unique palette. I know Tarte has released a couple blue palettes recently, but this is like the first brand that this is a blue, blue palette. I'm just happy that, you know what, they stuck with a blue theme and like legitimately kept it blue. So you're going to get 12 matte shades in this palette. The mattes range from light pastel colors to light browns to darker gray slash shades of blue. And then you're going to get, it's kind of like a satiny color. It's not flat, but it's not really shimmery. Four shimmer shades and then one pressed weird glitter shade, which I will get into in a moment. So right now I am going to insert some quick swatches that I did of the palette. So here we have the top row. As you can see, they are the more light pastel kind of colors in the palette. So we have Kulinan, Mint Tea, Crystal Flesh, I'm Cold, Untouchable, and Priceless. So here we have the second row. As you can see, much darker shades here in the middle. So we have Power, Blue Blood, Deceased, Ice Tray, Blue Monday, and finally Flourishing. So here we have the last and final row, Wealthy, Celebrity Skin, Entitled, Ocean Ice, Cremated, and Undertaker. <laughs> so because of the three looks that I did, I got the opportunity to try every single shadow in this palette. So I'm actually going to go over my general thoughts on each of the shades. So for the most part, I will say this is a very good palette and the majority of the colors worked very well for me. Um, for blues, they can be pretty tough to work with and I was very impressed with how easy some of the looks I created were. I feel very inspired with this palette. They are kind of just blue shades you can create so many different types of looks with this palette come along with me and I'm gonna tell you what shades I found were really good and what weren't so good and you'll hear me talk more about each of the shades individually as I work on them in the tutorial so we're gonna start off with the shimmer shades which are right here right here 
right here and right here. These are really beautiful. They work best with your finger. Uh, just kind of pressing that in if you want a little extra stickage to the lid. There's nothing wrong with using a glitter glue or wetting your brush, but these are all super beautiful and they work wonderfully. You you don't even really need to use wet or a glitter, but that really does enhance the shade. These lighter shades right here, very soft, very, very blendable. I will say I noticed this color, this color, and this color. They are a little bit more loosely packed, so do expect some powder, but that's typically how these light pastels have to be. Those kind of lighter matte shades, they are really, really nice, but I almost wish they were a bit deeper so that it could make more of an impact on the eye. Just because there are so many of those light shades, I wish there was a little bit more depth in a few of them. I get the idea of why he kept them so light because his palette's all about the blues, but there are four really neutral shades and I feel like he could have added a little bit more range in those. And I'm not even talking like that much. I'm just saying maybe have this more pink and maybe this a little bit more brown or something like that or this more peachy, but they're great quality. That's just my own personal little tidbit. I will say Crystal Flesh, this metallic shade, it was a little bit messy to work with. It had a lot of fallout, so this had to be worked into the skin a little bit extra with a little extra padding. Power, which is this gray right here, I didn't use it in my tutorial, but this is an extremely pigmented shade. It blends out beautifully. I was quite impressed with this shade because sometimes grays can turn out really bad, but this one turned out lovely. I really like Blue Blood. It's a little more softly packed, but it's very pigmented on the eye. Just use a soft hand when putting it on the eye eye and of course be careful of over blending with it because it can kind of blend away because it is so softly packed but it really isn't too bad of a shade like it's really good quality and very pigmented. Deceased I am not too crazy about. It's not that pigmented. It shows up weird. It's a little patchy. I just feel like this wasn't very good to have in the palette. I don't really like this one. Love Ice Tray. So there are two shades that I absolutely hate in this palette and Blue Monday is one of them. This is one of those shadows where you need to pat them on the lid. Don't use this as like a crease or transition color because this is so patchy and does not blend. Um, this color is one of the reasons why I had to take this look off four times today before I got this look. So I really do not like Blue Monday. It doesn't blend. The best way to use it is honestly just to pat pack it on the eyelid and make sure you're using it in a way that it doesn't really need to be blended. So the way I got Blue Monday to work was I did pat it on my outer corner to add some depth. The pigmentation did build with that. However, you can't blend this shade out so I had blended shades underneath and then I put that one on top of those blended shades to kind of make it look blended. Flourishing is gorgeous. Um, it's kind of similar to Blue Monday in how you have to work with it but it is better quality and easier to work with than Blue Monday and it's a really gorgeous almost green teal shade. I really really love this shade. You have two really deep colors down here. Those aren't the most pigmented but I do like that. I would say they're not as creamy and blendable as as I would prefer but they definitely like you can work with them so I do like those shades I don't love them but I like that he went into a route that they weren't the most pigmented because dark shades like those can be intimidating so those are just okay I do like those and the last shade that I do really want to talk about with you is ocean ice I hate this color. This color is not going to be featured in a tutorial because I tried two times to get this to work in multiple different ways on multiple eyes and I can just not get the shade to work. Ocean Ice, it's very, very gritty and I just thought maybe I could press it and warm it into my eyelid. Not the case. I... <laughs> When you swatch it, you really have to push it and blend it into the skin to get it to even swatch. And I could not get it to work on my eye. There was so much fallout. It was super patchy. Glitter glue it was still patchy and falling everywhere. I tried wetting my brush and the product. I couldn't even get it to stick to a brush. I tried putting my finger in and then spraying and putting it on my lid. I just could not get this color to work. So just to round it up, this shade is horrible. This shade is horrible. I'm not too big of a fan of this shade, but the rest are very, very good. I do like the rest of those shades. So I am more than satisfied with 15 of the 18 shades. You are going to get some fallout with this palette, but it's really not bad. Um, I find this palette to be pretty easy to work with if you stay away from those shades. So overall, I would say I do really enjoy this palette. It's not 100% there, but I'm not mad at it at all. I am glad I purchased it. However, if you're not a blue wearer, I mean, don't get this palette. It's very, very difficult to create a really wearable look 
with this palette. I did try one day and I still was like, this is freaking blue. If you aren't afraid of color and you do like blue, I would say go for this palette. It is really good quality. It is a collector's item to have. I think if you get it, you're not going to be disappointed. Just be aware that some shades are more difficult to work with than others. As far as the rest of this video goes, I'm just going to show you the tutorials and let those speak for itself on how this palette works. Without further ado, here we go. So the first shade I'm going to dip into is Priceless, which is a light peachy cream color. And we're just using this Flower Beauty brush, and this is just going to set a little bit of the concealer. Next, I'm taking some of Minty on this pointy blending brush from Morphe, and this is going in the inner corner. This is the kind of color that I want to put, like, everywhere, all over my lid, and do, like, a really minty editorial eye. Really pretty. This is very powdery in consistency, but typically shades, like, pastel shades, are very powdery and it's actually quite pigmented for what it is also another reason why you want a good concealer as your base is so the pigments kind of show through so next i'm taking the isum s33 brush and i dipped into the shade blue blood which is right below minty and oof, this shade is so pigmented do you see how opaque that went on super crazy i actually need to rub some off of my brush just start blending this eye by the way is gonna look way better than this eye <laughs> Just ignore that. The second eye always looks way better. So next we're taking the shade Flourishing. This is that same Flower Beauty brush, just the other side. And this we're going to pack in the outer corner. This is a beautiful teal green shade. And ugh, this is such a pretty, pretty shade. And that's just going to be our outer corner color. Just going to bring in some green to the look. It looks really pretty. Now I'm taking the Quite Pointy Esum S31. I'm dipping that into the shade Cremated. And um, this shade, as you can see, is extremely pigmented. Make sure you tap that brush off and I'm slowly kind of trying to blend that out. And then I'm also going to take that shade into the socket of my eye just to really create some definition. But this is something we're going to go and do after we apply the lid color. Taking my finger, I'm patting that into the shade Entitled which is this glittery teal shade. Oh my gosh, do you see that? This makes the look. So today's my first time using this palette and I really kind of wanted to go in on some of the colors that have been screaming to me. And I'm going back in with that cremated shade, that dark matte shade. Again, kind of outlining and adding depth all the way into the inner corner. Okay, and then next I'm taking the Morphe M213. And then we're going to dip into, I believe it's Colinon. I don't know. And that's going in the inner corner and underneath. Really crazy color here. Super pretty. I'm happy this is in the palette. All right, so now I'm going to do the rest of my face makeup and I will be right back. I'm taking the Morphe M507 and I'm going to dip into the shade Blue Blood. Just running that all along here. Then I'm dipping into the shade Flourishing. Finally, I'm going into Cremated just to join the ends over here. So this happens to me a lot just with my eye shape to where it just goes low and all I do is I take my beauty blender and I just kind of clean it up. Um, it's never perfect. It looks more scary when you don't have liner and lashes on. So don't worry about that too much. I'm going back into that Colleen shade and bringing that down here. This is just going to open up the eyes. So next, as you can see, I created a wing. So I'm using the NYX Matte Liquid Liner, and then I'm going to use mascara, and then I'm going to put on Lily Lashes in Miami, and I will be right back with the finished look. Okay, I'm back. So I actually, on my lips, used the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in Posh Spice, and this particular liquid lipstick is going to look so good with all of the colors in the Blue Blood palette. So if you're looking for a companion, I just think this is such a really cool tone brown that's going to look so good with so many of the colors in there. With lashes, this look really came together. You can do some crazy things with this palette. So I hope you guys liked this tutorial. So today's challenge was to create a look that I feel comfortable with wearing in public. 
I think it'll look a lot better once we get liner and lashes on because just sitting here it looks kind of bleh. But anyways, let's just get into it. We're going to start off with the shade Wealthy and I'm going to apply that just underneath the eyebrow. This is the Isom W23 brush. So next I'm taking the Isom G34 and I'm taking the shade Priceless, which is an extremely pale pink shade. I almost wish this shade had a little bit more pigmentation to it, a little bit more oomph to it. I do think it's really pretty as it is, but having just a touch more pink showing up would be like perfection. But this is still really nice. I actually think this is a lovely addition to the palette. But if it was a little bit more cotton candy, it'd be really cute. Okay, so this is the Morphe Y17. I'm taking Celebrity Skin, which is one of the few neutrals in this palette and oh my gosh i love this shade it is so smooth it is so easy to work with i mean that being said it doesn't add too too much depth but i really really like this shade okay so next i'm taking my finger in crystal flesh and i have to say this is really pretty but it's not my favorite color in the palette it's a little bit messy the particles of it are getting all over the palette itself and all over my face so this one i feel like i have to put in a little extra love and pressure to actually get that into the skin and assure it's not going to screw up so you can actually leave it like this and with some liner and have a really pretty everyday look with this palette but i felt like that was cheating so i'm going to take the elf professional blending eye brush i'm taking the shade deceased i'm just patting that in the outer corner and this also isn't one of my favorite shades in the palette i feel like i don't know it just doesn't pack a lot of punch now that being said it's not really supposed to be used with a blending brush in the outer corner but I don't know it's just a very dense color and it's just not my favorite okay so next i'm taking the morphe e36 brush we're gonna go into the shade i'm cold this is a really really good color originally i was just gonna put this all over my eyelid and i chickened out <laughs> and then i'm taking the same brush and i'm putting it back in deceased just in the outer corner to kind of bring the look together Okay, so I'm going to put on some mascara, liner, and lashes. So smart and totally forgot to finish filming the final look, so I don't have any time. So here's the final look. Not as wearable as I had envisioned, but it's still really pretty. I'm still going to wear it, but I like okay, it. Okay, so hear me out about today's look. It was not supposed to be this simple and good looking. I had left out these certain colors for this last and final look that I hadn't yet tried, and they turned out to be atrocious <laughs> quality. So this is what I was left with. So some of the shadows were just so bad, I had to completely scratch them from this look, but I still wanted to use shadows that I hadn't used before anyways we're gonna start off our transition color this is celebrity skin i'm using this beautiful Olimar blending brush it has a little bit of gray mixed in there from the other look so this is starting off a little deeper than the other eye now i'm taking the shade blue monday which this is not a very good quality shade i have a lot of patchiness problems with this shade a lot of blending issues with this shade the first time i tried this look i had to take it off because i was using too big of a brush and this color you have to do small little sections and apply with a small brush like honestly i don't even want to move on from this because it's so bad so the smaller the brush the better i just want you to see like this is so patchy this color is so patchy. A lot of times when people have problems with colors saying they're patchy, I normally can make them work. I can make a lot of bad eyeshadows work. Can't with this. Padding motions is going to help with this as well. Lay that color down. And blend. So if you use sweeping motions, you're not going to get pigment. And this doesn't blend out. So I'm just going to leave it at this. This is why this look looks so bad. And now I'm taking ice tray on my finger, and this is just going everywhere. So this shade's really nice. I really like this shade. 
So this one has a bit more gray to it. So I took a little bit of Undertaker, which is a navy color, and I just lightly tried to blend out to add some smokiness to the look. It looks a little unblended because I just, I don't think you understand. This is the fourth time trying to create a look. Like the first two times was so terrible. I just stopped using those colors altogether. And then the third time I was using the colors wrong, I would say, because there's a better way to use them. Yeah, I don't know why, but I'm really struggling today with this palette. And I haven't at all, which is weird. The first two looks I did, I loved this palette, so very confused about today. And I'm taking some of a wealthy and that's just gonna kind of set under here. Take a makeup wipe. This is like covered in blue from all my failed attempts. And then just kind of clean up under here. So I'm gonna do my face makeup and I'll be right back. Totally forgot to film this, um, but I'm taking some of Blue Monday on this elf brush. And I'm very carefully putting it on my lower lash line. I also kind of patted some on the outer corner as well on top of that blue. Yeah, so literally that's all I'm doing to my lower lash line. I really don't want to mess around with this color too much anymore. I don't like it. <laughs> and I'm going to take some of Colinon. Colinon? I don't know what that color is, but boom. Right there. Alright, so now I'm going to go off camera again, do liner, lashes, lips, and I will be right back. Alright, so this is the final look, how everything turned out. I honestly put on the biggest lashes because this isn't my favorite look that I've created with this palette, but nothing a little lash can't fix. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Alright, so I hope you guys found those tutorials helpful. Of course, everything I used in each of the tutorials that's on my face, I will list them down below. So if you're looking for a blue palette that's really unique to your collection, definitely go ahead and pick this palette up when it is available again. If you're at all feeling weary because it's blue and you don't know if you are going to wear it, I would definitely say just back off and don't even bother because, listen, this is blue and there really isn't a good way to get a neutral everyday look in this palette. It is possible for sure, but it depends on your limits and to really get a neutral everyday look, you're only going to use two to three shades from this palette. So in that case, the majority of the shades will go unused so just from a practicality standpoint you don't need this palette i would definitely pass on it but you know i know for somebody like me who does a lot of fun it looks for like instagram and youtube i do plan on using this for that purpose but i know if i wasn't doing youtube or instagram i have no business owning this palette but let's be honest i would never actually wear this look out in public so anyways i hope you guys found this video helpful i hope you liked it i'm sorry i got this up late i really wasn't in a rush because there are already so many tutorials and videos up of this palette but for those of you who were curious about my opinion here you go thank you for sticking around this long to watch this video and yeah if you're not subscribed definitely subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video bye guys have a great day